Hi, my friends, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Angela and my channel focuses on fashion entertainment while sharing with you budget-friendly fashion hauls and reviews for women in their 40s and beyond. So consider subscribing if you wanna see more of those kind of videos in the future. So today I have got an awesome Walmart haul to share with you guys. I've got 10 items and you know what? We might as well get started with the reason you probably clicked on this thumbnail. My feet went to heaven, right? And I'm serious about that. I cannot wait to show you an item that I found. As soon as I put them on, I was like, I'm gonna die here, okay? These, where have these been all my life? Like seriously, where have these been? Just to let you all know before we get started, all of the items I'll be talking about today, I will put links for you all in the description box for anything that I could find online. Sometimes you run into these situations where they're selling them only in store and not online for whatever reason that is. And sometimes don't get discouraged if you click on the link and it says it's not available or it's sold out because I have seen this happen a couple of times where online says it's sold out and then I go to my neighborhood Walmart and the item is there. So always check with your local Walmart also just to see if they have it there as well as online. So if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know that it's kind of a running joke that I wear slippers when I do my try on. If not, sometimes I go barefoot, but we have wood floor and the slippers are just more comfortable for me to walk around the house and I don't really wear them outside even though I could because of the bottom it has on these slippers. I'm going to show you these nasty slippers just so you can see what I'm talking about and why my feet have now gone to heaven after I purchased a new Walmart item, okay? So these are my slippers. I'm going to show you the bottom first because they're probably the cleanest part of the slipper. So these you can wear outside. They are by UGG. I have had these things for probably, I don't know, no kidding, four years or so. It doesn't look bad from this angle. Wait till you see the top of it. It used to be Sherpa on the inside of this. And that Sherpa is so pounded down now. You can't even tell it was Sherpa. It looked like this on the top, but look at how bad this is. <laughs> it's bad. Okay, but these are so worn. And I just, you know, I haven't found anything to really replace them that I loved wearing around the house as much. Until I found these lovely ladies when I was in Walmart the other day and I just about died, okay? Here is what they look like. Now they look a little goofy. I'm gonna have to admit that, right? It looks like, that just looks like a big bold puff ball, right? Okay, this is what it looks like from the side. It has this kind of cork bottom to it, which I really like, and you can wear these outside if you needed to. If you needed to run out and get the mail or get in your car and hop, you know, and go somewhere real quick where you're not getting out, whatever. These are something that you could totally do that in because of the bottoms. They're perfect slippers to wear around the house if you've got hardwood floor or even if you had carpet or tile, whatever. So they do have, if you can, if you can see, they've got like a little gold buckle here that's kind of hidden by all this like puffy material here. I'm going to show you a picture of them. They come in several different colors. I loved the pink. And along with that, I will show you what the price is and who it's by, what they're called. So they are to die for, okay? I'm gonna put these on and I'm gonna show you what they look like on my feet. When you put this on your foot, I'm telling you, your feet have gone to heaven. Sound the harps, okay? Because these are lovely. So let me tell you one more thing about these slippers too, is that they come in double sizes. So I got the seven, size seven, eight. They did have a five, six, and I think they had a nine, 10, and an 11, 12. The thing I was thinking about at first, I normally wear an eight and a half and they didn't have an eight, nine, which I probably would have done really well with. But I thought, okay, let's try the seven, eight, and these fit really well. So if you are kind of in between sizes, I would say it probably would be okay to, for you to go down rather than up. I'm telling you what, these are a must. Okay, so now that my feet are in heaven and I have a new slipper replacement, finally, for my old ones, let's move on and see what else I have. Okay, so let's talk about this next item that I actually already have on. So has this happened to any of you out there? You go to the store, you see something that you actually like there, but you're like, yeah, I don't know, I, you know, and you pass, okay? These earrings have been something that has I've done that with for the past like 
two, three times that I've been there, I'm like, oh, those are cute, but then I don't walk out with them. It's like, what's the matter with me, right? I think it has to do with sometimes you're in the mood to shop and sometimes you just aren't, even if you see things that you really like. So these earrings kind of fall into that category for me. But then I saw them this time, I'm like, you know what? Stop him and haw and just get them, okay? So these are by Time and True. They were $2.88. I love this little uh, silver two-dimensional design. It's got like a little bit of a hammer detail on the silver that I really like that makes them kind of modern, right? And for $2.88, you cannot go wrong with something like this. The next two items that we're moving on to, we're gonna have a little mid-video vote here. I have two items that are the same. They're by two different brands. They're a little different, but they're the same kind of thing. And I wanna get your opinion on which one you think is the best. So I'll be right back and we'll get started with the first one of those. All right, I have the next two items on. And you know, this is a little bit see-through. I'm telling you what. Um, let me back up and show you the whole thing together. The skirt is the first item for the vote. This I just put on with it and I got in this haul as well. So we can kind of take a look at both things together. Okay, now this top is by Time and True and I actually got this in my last clothing haul from Walmart in a pink color, which is not as see-through as this white. I thought, oh, let me get the white. That'll go with so much because I liked the pink. Um, I might as well not be wearing a shirt right now, honestly, right? Now they do have this in the pink, like I said, that I got before. They also have it in an olive green and they have it in a black. Now the olive green and the black, you wouldn't see through the, either of those as well. So those would be perfect colors for this kind of top, but the white, ooh, you know, I'm telling you what. But it does have really cute crochet detail around the arm areas. Um, so I do like that about it. And it goes, it would go with everything, but darn it, you know, you gotta wear something underneath, a uh, cami, a sports bra, I don't know what you're gonna do with this, but the white just isn't working. Then we're moving on to this first uh, jean skirt. I have two of them today, and we're voting on which one you like better. This one is by Lee, and actually they're skorts. So I did a haul a couple of hauls ago, that focused on the Lee skorts that they had. I got one in black, I got one in tan, and I got one in a really beautiful coral color. These skorts are about $18, $19, and this time I actually picked up the jean one. I like the wash of the jean. Um, it has, excuse all the tags here, it is higher rise, and that's why with the high rise, I tend to do the tuck in the pocket instead of way up here. I just feel it looks a little bit better. So I put, that, I put this outfit on with a pair of white slides that I have gotten from Walmart as well. And so here's the, the side view in the back of the skirt. It fits really well and underneath it has got the shorts with it. And the shorts are like a bike short material. They're perforated, so you, it's light and airy, and then you've got this top layer so that you don't have to worry about if you're sitting weird or if you end up in a weird position with a skirt on, you know you're covered underneath, right? <laughs> this skirt is a little lighter than the next one I'm gonna show you, and you're also gonna have to tell me as far as the length, do you like this one better or the next one? By the way, I purchased this skirt in a size six, which is my normal size when I get pants or um, any kind of skirt. I always pick up a size six. And in these Lees, it's no different. They fit perfectly. So let me get the next items on and I'll be right back. All right, ladies, I have the second skirt on, but let me tell you, I feel like I'm having deja vu with this top. When I was in the store, didn't even think twice about it. I picked it up because of the coloring. And now I'm like, have I gotten this top before? Have I shown this in a, in a haul before? This is like the life of a hauler or, you, or YouTuber that shows clothes all the time. Sometimes you get so many things over time, you start forgetting, did I keep? Did I get that before? Did I keep that? What happened? Well, I know I didn't keep this, okay, because it's not hanging in my closet, but I saw it this time and I'm just in love with the color of it straight away. So this top is by Time and True and it's got these little buttons in the front, a little button detail here that th these are not functional buttons up here. So it's gonna stay this way along the neckline. It's got some pleating here in the front and in the back actually too. 
This is a size small and I feel like it's a little bit big. So I put it in a side knot, which you're gonna see in a second. Um, this top came in some other different colors as well. Actually, I think it was only in black, if I recall. So here's the side view in the back. So it's a cute top. Just know that you're gonna have a little bit of extra room. Maybe it's because of the pleating here and the pleating in the back right here that's gonna give you that extra roominess. And then we're moving on to the skirt. I kinda wanna say before we even do the voting, but I still wanna see what you vote, that we might have a clear winner here with just from the get-go. Now this skirt is a little shorter than the last one. It's a little darker. It is a pull-on skirt. Um, there are no buttons or anything. It just pulls right on. I got the skirt in a size seven, eight, because in this particular brand, I always go up higher than I would normally in a, nor in a regular brand. Um, the, the thing is, I don't feel it's too short for the fact that I wear shorts that are about this length. So I don't feel it's too short, but because there's nothing underneath, I just feel like if you were to bend down and pick something up, or sit the wrong way, you could have a wardrobe malfunction, if you know what I'm saying. Because this to me feels like it is just a little bit covering my bum. And I don't think I wanna have that experience of having something happen and I'm like, oh darn. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody just saw my bum in my underwear. I don't want that to happen. If this was a skirt, if this was a skirt, I would be totally fine with it because I know I'm covered with something underneath, you know, but because it's a skirt, I'm thinking it might be a no for the length. So here's a whole outfit. I just have them on with a pair of little uh, beige sandals. Okay, now don't go away because I have got a couple of really cute dresses and we are gonna jazz them up with my famous jean jacket and a really cool belt that's going to transition these dresses into resort pieces. All right, here we go with the next Walmart item. It is this dress that I have on underneath all this other stuff going on, but I thought I would show you how we could elevate this dress and I'll take everything off to show you what the dress looks like on its own as well. So here is the outfit I created. This dress is by Time and True. It is a small. They did have this in several different patterns and I do like how it is knee length, that's nice. And if you can see, I had my hands in the pockets there, which is great. Um, it is a little bit longer in the back than in the front. And it does have a little V-neck here with a collar right up on the, like a, your typical shirt collar right up on the top here. Um, there are no buttons here or snaps or anything. So I put it on with this darker jean jacket and this little belt, this little, if you could see it, it's like a silver loop belt. And actually, I saw something very close to this at Walmart in the belt section by No Boundaries, and it was maybe $10, exact same, but maybe the loops were a little bit smaller. I'll take this off and show it to you up close in a minute here um, so that you can kind of be on the lookout for it if it's something that you might want. So here's the whole outfit. I love the pink and white tie dye in this dress. Put it on with a pair of really cute sandals and you've got a really nice look for summertime or like resort type look. So, okay, let me peel this off here and show you what, every, what the dress looks like on its own. before we do that I wanted to show you what it looked like with a white jean jacket as well so you could kind of get that effect it's a lot of white then going on here but it's still a very cute look okay so here is a close-up of this belt I have kept since the 80s I am so glad that I did because this style is coming back and like I said I've seen it at Walmart the loops were a little bit smaller but the same exact silver pattern it's got a little clip here and you can hook it into whatever loop you need to, to give yourself a little, you know, a little more room or a little tighter. Um, it was by No Boundaries at Walmart and it was $10 for this belt. So if you see something like this, you might wanna grab it because these things are coming back. So now here's the dress on its own. This is what you're gonna get. 
Now I got a size small and it is definitely roomy. I feel like something at the waist will just give you a little bit more definition. This to me looks like a house dress without anything else with it, you know? Um, it's okay to have a flowy dress, but it just almost seems like it's too much for me anyway. Now I have another dress to show you and we're gonna do the same thing. We're jazzing it up. I'll be right back. Okay, now take a look at this next outfit. If this does not scream outdoor summer dinner or party, I'm not sure what does. So again, I put it, I put this dress, which is by Time and True, on with the darker jean jacket and a belt that I'm also gonna show you that I got from Venus actually. So if you're interested in this belt, check out that Venus video. I just aired it maybe a week or two ago and we'll, it will talk about this belt a little bit more. So let me back up and give you the whole look. I think the olive green with the tropical leaves just gives it just that, a tropical kind of summery look. So with the darker jean jacket, I think that's a great look. Again, this has pockets in it. It's the same dress by Time and True that I just had on before, also in a small. And here's the uh, side view in the back. I just love this dress with the two items with it. Okay, so here is showing you what the dress looks like with just a little cute belt to give your waist some definition. So this belt, again, it's a beaded belt and it's got a wooden clasp in the front. So this is how you take it on and off. It's very simple, but this kind of belt goes perfectly with a dress like this. Now we have the dress with no jacket, no belt. So again, you're gonna get this very roomy effect and that's kind of how it's gonna lay without a belt or anything else on with it. Okay, and while I have this on, I put on these cute little earrings that are by No Boundaries. They're the three little butterfly dangle. They were almost $4 and I feel like, again, it goes with the whole summer theme, right? I'll give you a close up of these. They're very delicate and very light. Okay, now this next item I'm gonna show you is a bit of a wild card. I knew that when I picked it up, I'm like, I don't know how if this is gonna look or if it's even gonna look good on me, but let's just give it a whirl, right? You gotta just step out and try things once in a while. So we're gonna see if this works or not. I'll be right back. All right, so after this little outfit, be sure not to go anywhere because I'm gonna have some extras in this video that you might wanna stay tuned and see. Oh lordy ladies, I'm not really sure what to think about this one. Um, I'm sure you can tell me what you think, okay? This is a cropped jumper, okay? The top looks kind of cute, right, with the pattern. Looks all right. Here's what the back looks like up close, a little bit sexy. Now this top part does have a built-in bra with it, so that's kind of nice. So let me back up here. It does have a little fabric belt at the waist. There are no pockets at all, and it gets a little bit tight over here. I don't know if you can, if it looks too tight to you guys or not, but let me keep going back. <laughs> um, here we go with the cropped pants. They are wider and they do kind of, they are flowy. I don't think um, they're that bad, you know, especially with a nice pair of heels. I think it would look really cute. I am just not sure about the whole fit here and here, you know? This whole thing might be just a little bit of a no for somebody my age, but I had to at least try it out. It was intriguing. And so you let me know what you guys think. I'm just not sure about it. Now they have this outfit in a few other patterns and colors as well. Um, I actually went up to a size medium. I would normally be a size small, but in this I got a size medium. And it still might be a little bit too tight here. I'm not sure about that. So here's a little bit more of a close up of the side view and the back. So I don't know, ladies, what are you thinking? All right, now this is Bentley's little bunny that he got from Easter. He is coming down here because he doesn't want me to have it. What is this, your bunny? Oh! Bunny. 